Welcome to the Coulter Homes Inside Florida Pickleball Show, a weekly program featuring all the lifestyle aspects on and off the court of the fastest growing sport in America, pickleball. This week's show is presented by PGA Village Verano, the award-winning new gated community in Port St. Lucie, Florida, with a 27-court pickleball center and clubhouse and home of the World Pickleball Open. And now, here's your host, veteran sportscaster and pickleball enthusiast, Carl Foster. Hello, buddy. I'm Carl Foster. Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Florida Pickleball. And we're joined by Laura Gaynor, marketing consultant for USA Pickleball. She's on the road right now. She's up at Pictona, a new development up in the Daytona Beach area with her family and playing pickleball. Yesterday was Father's Day. Had a chance to teach my son, my 20-year-old son, pickleball for the first time. He is now hooked. He's an addict. He's ready to play more. So it was just a matter of getting out there, playing a couple games and uh, teaching them uh, a few of the rules. Not that I'm an instructor, I think I'm learning myself, but we had a chance to play for about an hour and he goes, man, I'm out of shape, this pickleball wears you out a little bit. So it was, it was a lot of fun there for Father's Day weekend and hopefully a lot of fathers were able to get out with the families and enjoy some pickleball. And uh, Laura, thanks for, for joining us and hopefully you had a good weekend as well. And I uh, see so you're with your family, so are you playing some pickleball over the weekend? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've been, I uh, actually, we're down here visiting my sister and brother-in-law in Jacksonville, and we got the chance to teach my brother-in-law how to play pickleball. So he's very quickly hooked. He, he's already purchasing a new paddle and already uh, probably getting his USAPA membership going as well. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, you know, we wanted to talk about because USA Pickleball, for a lot of the viewers, and uh, this is our, our fourth show inside Florida Pickleball, so we've got a lot of new people uh, joining the pickleball world, but uh, maybe they don't know a lot about USA Pickleball, but let them know what they can find out and how they become a member of the association and the benefits of being a member. Once you start learning how to play pickleball, there's a lot more out there in the pickleball universe. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I uh, started working with USA Pickleball Association back in November. And even at the time, I had no clue what pickleball was. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, gosh, I better learn how to play pickleball. And like everybody else, got very quickly addicted. And at home in Chicago, I was playing about five days a week and I got a bunch of friends playing and so there's so much benefits I mean just the active lifestyle of playing pickleball my family my kiddos are behind me right now getting the chance to play here uh, with Sarah Lockett at Pictona so great opportunities and for USAPA um, we have great membership benefits right now so we actually have our 20 for 20 incentive going on a lot of great amazing partners came together to the membership for USAPA is $20 annually and we're also offering many Brands and partners are offering 20% off or $20 off uh, paddles and various uh, incentives to kind of pay you back for your membership, essentially, and that runs through the end of July. Also coming up this week on Inside Florida Pickleball. So I'm on the highway from Florida to California and everywhere in between, usually twice a year. More money comes into the game, more people come into the game, and then the opportunity for the sport to grow. The, the good thing about it is, is that we get people from the pickleball side that want to get certified, and then we get people from the tennis side. I went out there and I was like, what is this nonsense that we're doing right now? But that was six years ago and I haven't stopped. I'm probably a five, maybe six time a week player. And everyone gets confused, is it split stop or split step? I don't care what you call it, just make sure that you do it. To go into the World Pickleball Open, a national championship, into the, when you went into the final round for a gold medal, what were you mentally doing? Yeah, well, again, we, we have our mental, we have our emotional, we have our physical. All this coming up on Coulter Holmes Inside Florida Pickleball on Fox Sports Florida. Shopping for a new home in Port St. Lucie? Start your search at pgavillageverano.com. Discover a resort-style community by Coulter Homes, featuring social and fitness clubhouses, award-winning homes and villas, championship golf next door, a 55-plus neighborhood, and South Florida's largest private pickleball center. See virtual tours and build your dream home online with interactive floor plans at pgavillageverano.com.
This week's news around the pickleball courts. Yeah, well, I think we continue doing what we're doing at growing the game in the roots. Um, it's certainly got to come more in the junior youth and development and also development of the sport through the colleges as to where it can be more of mainstream, where young kids can have an opportunity to gain scholarships in that sport, uh, sort to come into the sport through college. In the meantime, the pro associations are getting a foundation, if you will, for people who are already past that youth and that college stage and perhaps were competing professionally in other sports, they can now come over and compete professionally in pickleball. And so as those uh, things happen and more visibility comes into the sports through sponsorships and we continue to get some of this television type exposure, then I think more people will find attention uh, onto the game, more money can then come into the game, more money comes into the game, more people come into the game, and then the opportunity for the sport to grow on a more professional level. How do you see the, the demographics of pickleball as far as a lot of people saying that the demographic where years ago was maybe 55, 65, older demographic versus now where it's scaling down where you're seeing the professionals where they, maybe they can make a living or you see more of the professional tournaments and the singles play being you know, 25 to 35, 40. Uh, how do you see that changing or that shifting with the, the popularity of pickleball? Uh, yeah, more youth and younger kids continue to come into the game. It is still predominantly a seniors game and the seniors continue to pave the path by lending their talents to the sport to bring more people in to the game. But as you, if you go, there's certain pockets that you go the East Coast and it's noticeable and I have the privilege and opportunity to travel on both coasts. It's, it's a bit younger, uh, people playing out on the uh, East Coast. And then you go West, it's a blend of both. California, you'll see it being younger. Utah, you'll see it being younger. Arizona, you'll see it being a little older. Um, you know, same thing down in Florida, you know, in, in the far Southeast. So, uh, but the sport is definitely growing. Uh, when, it, when we look at metrics from a pickleball tournament, let's say 60% uh, or more are playing that are 60 and over. And now you're seeing about 40% that are under 60. So, and that number used to be like 2080, if you will. Dan Santorum with us here on Inside Florida Pickleball, the CEO with Professional Pickleball Registry. And walk us through, Dan, if I, if I want to become a certified pickleball instructor, how does that work? Well, no, what does the course look like as far as, you know, if I'm not, a, not a, I'm not a tennis professional. If I just want to be sure. a pickleball instructor, can I do that? Yeah, you sure can. Uh, ironically, uh, just to let you know, Carl, we're getting two groups of people that are coming to our, our, our certification workshop, which is uh, which is one day. Uh, you can, it's six hours plus the testing. And um, the, the, the good thing about it is, is that we get people from the pickleball side that want to get certified and then we get people from the tennis side. And um, it makes it a little bit difficult for the clinician because the people that, that come from the tennis side, they really don't have as much a grasp of, of pickleball, uh, but they have the coaching background. Uh, and, and the fact that they're a tennis player means they're they come out of the gate being at least a 3.5 pickleball player, even though they don't know the strategy around it. And then on the other side, Carl, is the people that come from pickleball, and they know pickleball backwards and forwards, but they, uh, in most cases, don't have the coaching background that the tennis pros have. So, um, so it's kind of fun to, to, to work with both sides, and, and when it comes out, in the end, we help the pickleball people with the coaching and the tennis people with, uh, with the, the pickleball knowledge and uh, it, it works out. Um, and it works out great for the sport of pickleball. Inside for the pickleball, why is pickleball the fastest growing sport in America? Well, you just go out to any pickleball courts and see the passion, the sweat, the love, the laughter, the fun, and we're gonna find out why you play pickleball and why you love it so much. And uh, first of all, give us your name and just uh, give us your little story. Okay, well, I'm Stephen Young. I, I live here in Delray Beach. Uh, three years ago, a friend of mine turned me on to the game. He brought me to an indoor pickleball court. And from then, I just decided to play and it just caught on fire to me. I was so passionate about tennis and then I swung over to pickleball. 
So now I became so passionate with it, I became a certified coach with PPR, and I enjoy the game and help other people learn how to play. How many times do you play a week? Uh, I play three to four times a week at least, yeah. I really, yeah, it's great. Are you playing the tournaments yet, competitively? I've played in three tournaments. I have uh, two golds and a silver. So I played singles and won a singles tournament as well. So. Uh, about three years, I got involved at the Jersey Shore, Long Beach Island, and I was immediately obsessed. And everywhere I've gone, Seattle, uh, Las Vegas, uh, Jersey, Florida, there's just always such great people, and it's just extremely social and fun. Inside Florida Pickleball, why do you love pickleball so much, and how did you find the sport of pickleball? Oh, I guess it's more satisfying and less injury. That's, I think most of the players, because they're old and they got tennis player, too many injury, they switch on pickleball because they said more satisfying and less injury. And the only thing is fun, you have too many people play with you. They're so nice and very social. Uh, my name's Lisa. I picked it up about a year ago. I'm a tennis player as well, and uh, people talk to me about trying the sport, and the second I put a paddle in my hand, I was a lover of it, and actually I pick up a paddle more than I do a tennis racket these days, so it's, uh, it's addictive. And the camaraderie, um, the friends, everything is just fabulous. Shopping for a new home in Port St. Lucie? Start your search at pgavillagevarano.com. Discover a resort-style community by Coulter Homes, featuring social and fitness clubhouses, award-winning homes and villas, championship golf next door, a 55-plus neighborhood, and South Florida's largest private pickleball center. See virtual tours and build your dream home online with interactive floor plans at pgavillageverano.com. I've tried a lot of other products, plenty of electrolyte mixes. They either contain some sort of sugar in them or something to give you a boost for a little while, but eventually it runs out. Jigsaw products help me stay competitive. They help me stay energized. It's helped me become a better player. Jigsaw helps me recover faster. I think all of you need Jigsaw help in your life. And you know why? It's fun to feel good. 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 Fun to feel good. Cheers. People that have a tennis background and grew up playing competitively in tennis are now finding good success in pickleball on the on the singles uh, aspect of it. In doubles, you know, everybody it, it's changing dramatically. Uh, you know, the waters uh, Lee and Anna Lee changed uh, the game a little bit with the big power that they're hitting, and I, I do see uh, a lot more power coming into pickleball, um, ending the points quicker, uh, and people learning how to play. Uh, what I call a power control game, not just a banger, but somebody who can hit with controlled power, which is learning how to hit hard, but then also being able to reset and hit particular areas on purpose. But yes, on the from the east to the west coast, it's been amazing to see you know people uh, who you always are going to see on that metal stand. One of which is one of your local Steve Kennedy. Uh, you know he's usually holding up a, a, a medal on on the stand. He does great. He's been doing great for years. Uh, he's slightly taller than I am, I've noticed. Um, I've played against Steve, uh, you know, a fair amount, and, you know, it's fun to see all of those players from the East to the West Coast. I, I wish that, you know, more of the West Coast players could see, you know, the East Coast players and, and intermingle outside of, you know, just, you know, large tournament play. Um, I'm fortunate because I am on the road, so I'm on the highway. Uh, I do travel from the East to the West Coast. Uh, not this year. Uh, I might make it this year, but normally twice. So I'm on the highway from Florida to California and everywhere in between, usually twice a year. I'm um, just playing and promoting in, in all the communities, but uh, the pro level is, and high caliber, um, high skill pickleball is, is going to be something uh, to watch in the near future for sure. Randy Coleman, the Pickleball Voyager here on Inside Florida Pickleball, and you talked about the pro level, and we're going to be talking to Steve about it because he's involved with the APP Tour and the professional level, like like in tennis, where there's pro, two pro tours going to be starting out. Now, will we see you on the pro tour? Or what level are you playing right now? And is, it, is the pro tour going to be singles and doubles, men and women, different age groups, different age divisions, or what exactly uh, have you, you know, found out for the pro tour what we can expect to see uh, yes i am a, i'm a senior pro for selkirk um uh, i play in in all of the pro events and you know skill set uh 5-0 level uh 
in between all of that, we have one called the PPA, um, and we also have another uh, professional tour called the APP. So this is bringing uh, much more respected money into the game, um, a lot more competition and you know just development and growth for the game. So two professional series that are you know trying to promote the sport of pickleball. Yes, they will have all of the same. Um, uh, events on on the professional side of things so men's doubles mixed doubles women's doubles singles and uh, a, a, a nice purse for for all of those players as well so um, yes I will be playing in some of the events I uh, love the camera work and all of this so uh, a lot of things I also enjoy is being behind the camera as well um, some people uh, know me for live streaming and commentating so um, working with uh, um, the APP uh, on on some uh, select events, plus I do other stuff, uh, you know, on, on other tournaments. I do a lot of commentating as well, so I'm a little bit uh, mixed because I enjoy uh, commentating the matches and, 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 and giving some of that, you know, play and color and main, you know, for people to watch. Uh, I truly love to, to play as well, so... Uh, you know, we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe Steve will put up with me one day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be fun to see. But uh, as you're traveling across the country, uh, keep your microphone. I see your camera. You sent me some of your videos, and you're always finding some great stories out there. So you can be one of our uh, ambassadors and uh, our pickleball voyager out there. We'll get some updates from you off off, uh, off the road, and uh, we'll we'll come up with uh, some on the road again music, and just uh, we'll, we'll get you out there as we uh, we grow this show from Florida to na to national is our plan too. So I'd uh, love to have you part of it, and just uh, thanks for coming out here today. You're right in our backyard here in South Florida, so we can't travel a whole lot right now because of this pandemic. But how's that affected your own traveling? Obviously, because uh, it's tough to fly now, but you drive everywhere. But there's just no events. They're just starting back up right now. So you've been in Florida for a little bit, huh? Yeah, I've had to use my uh, uh, creative juices over the last few months. Um, we didn't have the tournaments, but we were doing a lot of fun uh, video shooting, uh, just creative, uh, lots of creative things within our pickleball community that, uh, you know, that whether it was on Facebook or Instagram, you know, just to provide... Uh, you know, uh, different avenues for people to still stay connected, you know, in pickleball. It wasn't, wasn't necessarily on the court, but we were having a fun doing uh, physical challenges, fitness challenges. I was doing some uh, pickleball update, SNL satire skits and things like that. So, um, you know, we're, we, we all uh, enjoy laughing, you know, along the way and, and sharing pickleball. It's good to see it pick back up. Um, yes, it did affect me a little bit. Uh, I was very fortunate uh, to be in a location uh, somebody helped me out in uh, South Carolina, and we still had, you know, a lot of fun. I have to be, you know, careful and, and respectful. I'm a U.S. APA ambassador. Uh, I'm also an international uh, uh, federation uh, ambassador, world ambassador as well. So um, I need to be very sensitive and, and, and justifiably, you know, because of the things that we're doing. But we still try to do things very safely. Um, and even when we did come back on the court, you know, we had as many of the precautions that we could possibly have, you know, to safely be in that environment. But uh, yes, it's great to be out on the court again, and, and hopefully our tournaments will be uh, picking up soon. So I'm sure uh, Steve Kennedy will fill you in on, on a lot of that stuff. But uh, yes, everybody is so anxious to get back on the court, and uh, I always love being uh, back in South Florida. This was my home, Jupiter West Palm, Palm for uh, about 24 years, so I love this area. First, welcome back home, and as your hat says, it's fun to feel good. I know Jigsaw Health, and they, they do some funny videos and some great stuff, too, so big part of Pickleball, and we'll be uh, talking and working with them a little bit more, too. So great to catch up with you. I'm sure we'll be talking down the road. The Pickleball Voyager, traveling across the world, spreading the culture of Pickleball, and uh, I would say I think you're a Pickleball addict. I would I think safe to say that that's probably true. All right. Thanks a lot. For Inside Florida Pickleball, I'm Carl Foster. We'll Hey guys, uh, Steve Kennedy here from South Florida Pickleball Academy. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little tip of the day. Um, you know, some really simple reminders. And let's just talk about what a split stop is. And everyone gets confused, is it split stop or split step? I don't care what you call it, just make sure that you do it. Now a split step should be happening after every time you hit the ball. Now the big question is, is when should it happen? And I'm gonna tell you that when you're playing a point that a split stop, and, and basically a split stop is nothing more than you coming to a stop, 
getting into a ready position, getting up onto the up, up to your toes, getting your paddle positioning proper. Okay, one that should happen is just before your opponent is about to make contact with the ball. And what that enables you to do is it enables you to visually see the court out in front of you, enables you to slow yourself down and change direction if need be. So we'll be able to time our split stop get our paddle positioning right, the ball should then be struck coming at you and you would have the ability to move left, right, back off, move forward, you can move in any direction. So it's really just a start from every shot. So really concentrate on your split stop, make sure you do it at the right time and it will make a big difference in your pickleball game, I guarantee you. Up next, the mental side of pickleball on Coulter Holmes' Inside Florida Pickleball Show. Pickleball is all about joy, love, fun, unity, celebration, and passion. You can display your passion on and off the pickleball court with an exciting new brand, OneSoulPickleball.com. With unique expression and goal to inspire and serve others and make a positive impact in the world, OneSoulPickleball.com has a conscious collection of apparel, merchandise, gifts, accessories, and home goods now available at their official online store. Display your passion of pickleball with peace and love. OneSoulPickleball.com. Shopping for a new home in Port St. Lucie? Start your search at PGAVillageVerano.com. Discover a resort-style community by Coulter Homes, featuring social and fitness clubhouses, award-winning homes and villas, championship golf next door, a 55-plus neighborhood, and South Florida's largest private pickleball center. See virtual tours and build your dream home online with interactive floor plans at pgavillageverano.com. Hello everybody, I'm Carl Foster, host of the new Coulter Homes Inside Florida Pickleball Show. The first weekly program dedicated to the fastest growing sport in America, Pickleball. Airing on Fox Sports Florida each Saturday morning at 9 a.m. We'll showcase the fun, amateur and pro competitions, equipment and fashion insights, health and instructional tips, pickleball lifestyles, trips and charity events. Coulter Homes Inside Florida Pickleball, Saturdays, 9 a.m. on Fox Sports Florida. It's pickleball on purpose. It's time for the mental side of pickleball with gold medal pickleball winner Lee Rosenthal. We see in tennis and a lot of sports, the players that are mentally tough, what do they do before the matches and during competition? And you struck a good point there with your background about let's, let's focus on the mental side of pickleball which may sound a little weird, but uh, the mental side of pickleball in competition is like the mental side of life. Yeah, well, again, we, we have our mental, we have our emotional, we have our physical, and we need to take care of and serve all three. So mentally, um, I, I would find my calm, I would find my focus, and really keep in perspective where I was and what I was doing, and that it is a pickleball match, it's a pickleball game, and it's, you know, not something outside crazy, it's, it's pickleball. and. Um, one of the things I remember each day in life, which is tremendous, it's really appreciation. It's, it's gratitude and appreciation for, again, the, we're coming back out here to pickleball again, and I look outside and here we are, we get to see the, uh, the beautiful trees and the fresh air and friends again, and this nice breeze and the sun shining. It's such a gift that we're, we're in this place to be able to enjoy and share. Yes, there's the competition. Yes, there's the fierceness. Yes, there's how do I handle this situation when the going gets tough because, you know, I were chatting before, we know the great tennis players like Roger Federer, he'll miss a shot. And a lot of us will react and go, you know, slam our rackets, Roger turns. To him, it's just a, a shot, next. So it's staying in that moment, it's very, very, very critical. Yeah, you look at it mentally tough, and you're probably seeing it now. You saw it in tennis when you played tennis. I see it covering tennis for years. You know, the, the players, the McEnroe's, and the other people that just use different types of philosophies, the Federer, that's mentally tough. And you see some that maybe lose that mental edge, and they lose the match. Are uh, you seeing that in pickleball in some of the national competitions with some of the pros and some of the different competitions? Are you able to look and watch these matches and say, they are not mentally tough? I know when I was a kid, my mom can watch me on the tennis court and see me out there and go, okay, Lee's... He's not doing so well because my shoulders are slouched and I'm looking down at things like that, where it's the body language. Yet, you know, you, the, 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 you can see how Rafa moves around the tennis court or any of these uh, great pickleball players are moving. So look at somebody's physiology. Look at kind of how they're, how they're holding their head. Look at their breathing. Is it full? So absolutely. But these are also the things when we're conscious of them, we can adjust them. 
And I can go, wait a second, I'm doing this. Just by changing how I'm standing and how I'm breathing can then change how I'm feeling on the inside as well. We appreciate that aspect of sports and pickleball and bringing you a mental side of pickleball here on Inside Florida Pickleball. And that's this week's edition of Inside Florida Pickleball. Join us next week on Fox Sports Florida. This week's show was presented by PGA Village Verano, the award-winning new gated community in Port St. Lucie, Florida, with the 27-court pickleball center and clubhouse and home of the World Pickleball Open. Join us again next week here on Fox Sports Florida and see you on the pickleball courts.